Hi there, I'm Mr Pertel, I'm Head of Music at Cosford Hill School and I've been teaching A-Level for the last three years here. Um, so the A-Level Music course is divided into performing, composition and the appraising exam. Um, for performance, we're looking for a recital of between six, uh, either six or ten minutes long, um, which is either worth 25% of your overall grade or 35% of your overall grade. That recital is uh, performed in front of a live examiner who visits the school from outside the school and um, they will be sort of assessing your overall final recital. Um, in terms of standard, uh, the, uh, the exam, the, the performance pieces need to be roughly grade six standard um, or above. You can get some basically bonus marks if you uh, perform something of a harder standard than that. If you are roughly grade four or above, about now, then you can be aiming towards that grade six uh, standard mark um, by the end of year 13. Okay, um, here's a, a, a performance a clip of a performance from last year's uh, 2020 um, A level student. Okay, the second part I'm going to talk about is composition, and um, the composition is either worth 25% uh, of your grade or 35% of your overall grade, um, depending on, you can choose how much of your overall grade you want your performance to count for and how much you want your, perform uh, your composition to count for. Okay, so you are either working on two compositions across the course or three compositions across the course as well. Okay, we explore different ways of approaching composition. Um, in year 12, it's more of a free composition, so you can create any style of uh, music that you would like. In year 13, you then do the second composition, um, which has to be uh, in Western classical style, so it needs to be either um, sort of based on classical um, music or romantic music. And now you should be able to listen to an example of an A-level composition from the previous year.
And now for the listening exam. The listening exam is 40% of your overall grade. Um, it includes development of the symphony, it includes 20th century music, and it includes a choice of either rock and pop music from 1960 to 2000, uh, musical theatre, or jazz music. And um, I decide, along with uh, the group, which one is going to be most appropriate, which one's going to be most enjoyable for you to study. Um, in terms of entry requirements for A-level music, we're looking for, as I said earlier, at least grade 4 standard of performance, a good understanding of music theory, and you might have done GCSE music, in which case we're looking for um, at least a 5 for GCSE music. Um, if you haven't studied GCSE music, there is a student in Year 12 currently who didn't study GCSE music um, at a previous school. Um, but because she has a, a good understanding of musical the uh, sorry, music the theory and she has um, got her performance standard up um, to a high level ready, um, then she could um, come onto the course as well. In terms of access to university after A-level, A-level music is a really well respected uh, A-level um, in lots of universities. Um, King's College Cambridge have said that it's a really useful um, A-level if you're planning on going to work towards um, arts or humanities degree courses um, and it's also a really important A-level if you're planning to do music in the future or if you're planning to do music at university level as well.